Hey, what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to create a cool cinematic title sequence inside hit film express so let's take a look at what we'll be creating today Right, so as you can see, I have already loaded these three stock footages inside HitFilm Express. I'll provide the link in the description. You can just download these files and load them up inside HitFilm. And then once you do that, the first thing that we'll do is we'll create our text. So just select your text tool and just type in your text. So I'm going to type in. So then we can go to the text tool, choose any cinematic font for this. I'm going to go with Roboto. So the I'm going to go with the light font weight I've also set up the size and the character spacing as well now let's go to the layout tab and center our text just click on these two icons that are in the middle to center up your text right so here we have our first title or first text then I'm going to drag in the smoke wisp stock footage just drag it and put it on top of your text layer I'm going to unlink this right click on it and click on unlink then we can get rid of the audio track, delete the track. And now uh, we are going to match the length of our title or the text layer with the length of the smoke wisp stock footage, just like that. And now I'm going to right click on the smoke wisp layer, go to blend and set the blend mode to multiply. And I can see our smoke wisp is going to reveal our text just like that now as you can see we have some issues right over here we can't see our very first letter of our text so we can fix that by just simply increasing the scale value on our smoke wisp layer so i'm going to set this to around 108 and now we can see our title is visible now i'm going to copy and paste these so this is going to be our second title or second text and this one will be our third text right so on the second one i can type in cinematic select the text I'm going to go to the layout tab and just simply align it in the center then on the third layer i'm going to select the text and set the I'm, change, I'm going to change it to title and then I'll also center this up. All right, so if we take a look, this is what we have created so far. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to add some smooth fade fade in between these two text layers so I can go to the fix tab, the transitions video, and we have this fade to color. Let's drag it. In between and put this in between these two text layers and do the same thing over here as well now we have the smooth fade in our animation now one more thing that you might have noticed our C letter right over here is not it's getting uh, cut right over here so we can again go to the smoke wisp or transform and just increase the scale value and I'm going to set this to 113. All right, so next step is to go to the media tab and uh, drag in our background smoke, put it on top. And uh, I just want it to be this long. So I'll just slice this using the slice tool or split it. Then I'm going to delete the extra part. And also I'll just unlink this and delete this audio track delete this audio track as well we don't want that and I'm gonna right click on this set the blend mode to lighten you can play around with different blend modes but I think just lighten just works best for me so now as you can see we have this really nice smoke going on in the background and uh, you might have also noticed we have some smoke in front of the text as well so it just sort of creates a nice depth in our animation 
right that is looking great now we can just drag in our particles just trim it down right click on it and set the blend mode to add and there we have it this is our final animation yeah so i think that is the wrap for this tutorial so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as i enjoyed making it if you did please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one